Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. We decided that it was such a beautiful morning that we were going to come spend some time with the peacocks. If you're wondering what this crazy channel is all about, you can go down into that description box and take a look. We are mingling with the chickens this morning. And as soon as I came in here, they all went away. Except for Faddle. She's napping. Napping in the shade. It's quite breezy this morning. A little chilly. A bit of a chilled wind. It's kind of early though. It's supposed to get really warm today in the 80s from what I understand. Uh-oh. Panic in the chicken coop. Winds are coming. So it's Thirsty Thursday. Not sure why I called it Thirsty Thursday because I want to talk about health and nutrition. But I guess uh, drinking is part of health, so... <coughs> Hello. Good morning. So, uh, yeah, Thirsty Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mainly wanted to talk about, um, like, our food. The, the food that we are offered as food. at the grocery store <laughs> making sure she's still okay yeah she's still there all right um the the food that they offer us at the grocery store is not food it's it's kind of poison um most of it if you stay if you skirt the outside edges of the grocery store you're usually safe um except they've, they've started putting the bread on the outside in my grocery store and i'm not a big fan of that but um yeah, the, the food is really bad. So if you've ever done what I did, which is, um, like, eat nothing but salad. Where are you going, sir? I don't trust you. Oh, well, hi, Falco. <laughs> if you, uh, if you buy, if you, if you've done what I've done, which is, at times, ate nothing but salad, thinking that that was the key to, to weight loss success and you came up to where that wasn't the case you were not alone i've done the same and uh yeah peck peck go ahead peck me i know it's going to happen um and i can tell you what the problem is or at least what i believe the problem is i think it's the seed oils it's the it's the uh it's the salad dressings the salad dressings are not good for you the if you go into your refrigerator right now I challenge you go into your refrigerator right now if you have salad dressing in there take a look at the ingredients list and I'll bet you the first ingredient is soybean oil if it's not the first it's probably within the first three and if it's not soybean oil then it's probably <coughs> excuse me vegetable oil hydrogenated vegetable oil um, canola oil is another one that they like um, it's probably one of those one of those oils and it's probably within the first three ingredients that's bad the rest of the stuff that's in there are preservatives if you can't pronounce it or you don't recognize it you shouldn't ingest it that's basically the way I look at it and I've done very well with that um, I can't say that I lost the bulk of my weight like that but I did lose the last 40 pounds like that um, by just reading labels and avoiding the um, the oils. That was uh, that was the main thing. Jack, what is going on? But um, I also stopped buying my meat from the grocery store, and I I go to um, like farmers local farmers or Amish I the my the Amish is where I've been getting most of them um, that's that's the, where I do the bulk of my shopping but if that's not available to you I would recommend going and getting um, like trying to find a local farm even if you have to drive a little ways um, it's worth it it's cheaper in the long run and um, it's also so much better for you. The taste is so much better. You get more nutrition from it, and it, it, it actually fills you up. You don't feel hungry after you've eaten. Um, so that's, uh, that's a, a very, very good thing. 
Um, the the other thing too is the 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 um, wheat. I found out that every form of wheat that we have, that we use, that we eat, that we consume, has been hybridized and modified. And um, there's only one type of wheat they say that is virgin wheat that has not been you know hybridized or modified and that is called icorn e-i-k-h-o-r-n flour there is a company called jovial that makes it um i tried it out <clears throat> it's just like flour um i'm going to make some cookies and stuff with it or maybe uh see if it uh if it makes a difference but the, that brand jovial they also make um like all kinds of different pastas made of i they make icorn pasta uh, they make wheat free pasta it's all gluten free stuff um someone asked me if i had a gluten allergy i don't think i do i think that i'm just not equipped to eat the food or you know di properly digest the food that is provided to us unless it's from the amish seems to be the only thing I can eat and not gain weight but I don't eat their bread I don't eat their treats I don't eat any of that I don't do the jams I don't do the the beautiful peanut butters and that kind of stuff I do their butter um but I don't do their their other treats and things so yeah that's that that's where I'm at on it is that it's not necessarily well goodness girl She's decided that she's just not having any of it this morning. I hope she's alright. Maybe she's getting ready to lay an egg. Maybe she's warming up to lay an egg. Wouldn't that be great? Talk about nutrition. I'm ready. But yeah, so... And, and what's funny about the whole nutrition thing is like... For some reason I had it in my head that if the government hadn't had their hands on it... It wasn't safe for me to eat. And I think they've kind of brainwashed everybody into thinking that. That the FDA is here to keep you safe. You know, and well, if the FDA says it's okay, then obviously it is. They test these things. It goes through rigorous processes. Well, not necessarily, because money talks, friends. Money talks. And these big ag and these, these producers of food, all these conglomerates that own, like, ConAgra and Frito-Lay and, you know, <coughs> excuse me, all the different companies that have bought up all the other companies and now like nabisco um they're they're giant they're giant they're huge huge companies and um i think that that the money has surpassed their morals they that's uh the money is is number one now and i think that their their moral fiber is lacking and um i think that they will just do whatever they can to make more money as long as it doesn't kill us immediately as long as we don't put it in our mouth and drop dead we're good but it's killing us slowly there's there's, there's a reason that heart disease is so rampant there's a reason that the american uh life expectancy number is going backwards it's not COVID, you guys. It's the food. The cardiovascular disease is just rampant. Diabetes is rampant. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The prevalence of cancers in young ages. The, the, the levels of obesity in young ages. Now, I'm not saying that it's all the food because we do have the screens that have made it very, very convenient to just sit on your butt and do nothing. I almost feel like that's encouraged. I, I, it's so strange the way that things have, like, do you remember the, the presidential fitness award thing that used to come around every year for the high school? I, I could never even, or junior, I think it was junior high for me, middle school now, but like I never even placed. I mean, I, I, yeah, it was always really, really sad. But a lot of the kids in my class were, you know, they did well. They, a lot of them. And I just wonder, like, what the standards are now compared to them and what the, like, the pass-fail rate is on that. Because I would almost guarantee that it's... <laughs> it's pretty bad, guys. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. <clears throat> but throughout the day... 
throughout the day today I'd like to talk about those kinds of things so if that's not something you're interested in you can go ahead and just disregard the rest of my videos for the day and I'm not going to be offended I don't care I don't don't care I'll make them whether you watch or not and uh yeah, I think it's very important. That's why I have these chickens now. That's why I've got the buttons. That's why I'm growing food, because I don't trust the government. I don't trust the FDA. I think that they've lied to me. I think that I just don't, I don't, I, I just can't believe that it was as easy as it was. Oh, and the other thing, too, I know I'm going long, but I don't care because I want to say this. Everybody talks about how eating healthy is more expensive. That's not true. That is not true in any way. If you stop buying the shit, if you stop buying chips and cookies and just garbage and just buy good food, you save tons of cash. I'm telling you. You save lots and lots and lots of money. I spend about $300 on meat for six weeks. For three people. Well, three, three and a half. I spent about $350. I bought pork. I bought turkey. I bought ham. I bought bacon. I bought, I bought beef. I bought um, steaks. I bought uh, chicken thighs. Copious amounts of chicken thighs. Tons and tons and tons of meat. And it was $350. And that'll last us six weeks. <clears throat> I go to the farmer's market and I pick up some some um, some food, some different veggies from them. I get onions, green peppers, zucchinis, calls or cucumbers. Like I picked up enough vegetables to last me three days, and it was sixteen dollars. <laughs> so that's not bad. I'm telling you. <laughs> You, you save money. You save money when you eat healthy because you eat less. Not only do you eat less, but it's better food so you don't have to eat as much because the nutrient value is there. I, I'm telling you, I'm sold. I'm convinced. Bought, sold, hook, line, sinker. Got the t-shirt. Thinking about a tattoo. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm on the wave. And I want to bring other people with me, and it's it, it's so frustrating because I had people preach to me, I had people tell me, you know, this is what you need to do, that's what you need to do, well you should do this, this is what worked for me. And it's really a thing where you just kind of have to work it out on your own, and I know that because that's what I had to do, but I want to share with people what I've learned. And so, you know, again, if that's not something you want to listen to, please disregard, I get it. I, did, I didn't want to listen to it for a long time either because I was so frustrated. But if it is something you're interested in, it's something I'm going to be talking about. So, that's that. Alright everybody, I think I've gone, gone on quite long enough. You all have a great day. Oh look, there she is. There's my battle girl. She's going to be my first egg layer. I've decided she's going to lay my first egg. Aren't you faddle? We've, we've, we've come to a gentleman's agreement on it. It's going to happen. Alright guys, we'll be back later with the buttons. We'll be back later with uh, our evening episode with these cats. And uh, we may have to have another sit-in. May have to have another sit-in. We're going to have to get some water today, Jack. Yep. Do I taste good, Jack? You've been pecking me all around. Pecking at my sweatshirt, pecking at my shoes. There we go. This is my brand new $20 American Eagle hoodie. Don't do that. I have to live in it for the next three years. Bad chicken. Jack, those are my shoes. Those are my really expensive slippers. My man slippers. And pesky pecans. I know. Well, I don't. I don't pre. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You see that? They're attack chickens. They really are, aren't you? Yeah. They. Oh, they'll get you. I'm telling you. What? Oh. They're fun. Fun, fun for everyone. Who wants it? Alright. I'll see y'all later.
Have a good day.